You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Yes, it's the Does program. Does, you know, is the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. Hello, Mr. Callier. Uh, hello. Dizzy Flutterhead's a name. My friends call me Careless Housekeeper for short. Oh. And I just came today to tell you I don't want to hear another word about this does. Uh, what? You don't want to hear about that wonderful new kind of granulated soap, does? Can't be bothered. Oh, but Dizzy. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, Mrs. Flutterhead. Does is Procter & Gamble's new soap discovery, and it does all three kinds of wash. Work shirts, towels, to rayon slips. Why, why, does does everything. <laughs> Silly saying, does, does everything. Well, does really, does it, Dizzy? Take work shirts. Even those your husband gets extra dirty at that war plant. Why, does will get them clean easy. You can save yourself from all hard scrubbing. Oh, dear, stop talking. Why, well, if I didn't scrub on wash day, I couldn't complain about anything. And I simply love to complain. Oh, but think of your towels, Mrs. Flutterhead. Think how wonderfully white does, does them. Even the ones your husband gets streaked with factory dirt. Why, does will have them dazzling. Honestly, no soap maid can give you a whiter wash than does does. Oh, go along. What if my towels are messy looking? Huh? I told you, my name's Careless Housekeeper. But, my dear Mrs. Dizzy, how about your rayon slips and the other pretty colored things you wash? You know, does helps those clothes last longer in wartime because it's safer for their precious colors. Safer than the four other leading granulated wash day soaps. Oh. Oh, dear, why don't you keep still? What? If I listened to you, even I'd be wanting to try does for everything in my wash. Well, but let me tell you, young man, my name's not Dizzy Flutterhead for nothing. I'm just not gonna change. All right for you, Flutterhead. But thank heaven the ladies in the radio audience aren't like you at all. Are you, ladies? Why, when you good housekeepers hear about does, you want to try it, don't you? So be sure to ask for D-U-Z, does, today. Even in the toughest wartime wash, does, does everything. And now the Goldbergs. Well, Molly's new daughter-in-law, whom none of the Goldbergs have ever seen, arrives by train this afternoon for a visit. All that Molly knows about Grace, she learned from her letter, which told how she and Sammy had been married and how before they could visit the family together, Sammy was shipped overseas. So Grace is on her way to meet her new family, a girl without a history or a background. But Molly's heart goes out to this stranger whom Sammy loves, and right now she's trying to make herself beautiful for the great event. Listen. Bernie, uh, Bernie dear, how, how long will it take yet, Bernie dear? Not much longer. You asked me to come over and do your hair, Mrs. Goldberg. Now let me do it and don't brush me. I can't do my best wake when I'm brushed. All right, Bertie. Oh, it gets so tiresome. Oh, 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 did I stick you? A, a little bit. Oh, a little bit. Uh, Mr. Goldberg will be home for lunch soon, Bertie, and I'm baking in the oven. Oh, hold still. Please, Mrs. Goldberg. Yeah. My, my daughter-in-law I'm baking also. That's nice. Oh, Rosalie, throw a knife in the oven. All right, Ma. But, but, you don't think you're making me too many coils? Oh, Mrs. Goldberg, please, be modern. You want to make the right impression on your daughter-in-law, don't you? Surely. Well. But, but, Bertie, this is a little too much, no? I oh, mean... hold your head still, Mrs. Goldberg. I don't want to give you the upswing. Because for your kind of a face, it wouldn't be youthful enough. Oh, but, but I mean, Bertie, I... I thought you would fix it the way I always wear it, only a Not little bit. Not at all, not at all. Imagine, like you always wear it, would I let you be seen with your hair like you always wear it? No. No, of course not. I want the softness around your face, you see, like oh, this. but, but, dear, see, a, wait a but, but I like the softness, but the curls, but it, it's, it's a little bit too much like Rosalie. I mean, the way Rosalie wears it. No, no, listen, mothers and daughters dress alike these days, Mr. Goldberg. That's why they have so much in common. Uh, Look young and you think young, you see. Uh -huh. It creates confidence between the generations. Oh, but, um, uh, Bertie, I think, uh, um, but, but look, Bertie, dear, I think, I mean, uh, if, if you would only make a little bit, Bertie, dear, it's see, like, up you plainly, see? And if you would only make the coils, oh. not less coils, 
I mean, oh, it's you're curls, spoiling so. it, Mrs. Um, I'm, no, I, I only want to show you here. See, oh. like that, if you put, I'm spoiling it. Yes. Oh, ah, I think the cake is. Uh, the cake is what? The cake is what? I uh, took it out. I, I look nice, probably. You never thought your mother would look so pretty, huh, Rosalie? Yeah. You like it, Rosalie? Uh, will, will, will Grace like it? Wait a minute. Wait, I'm not finished yet. Uh, you, you like it, Rosalie? Huh? Who came in? Me. Oh, it's Papa. Go in, Rosalie. Don't don't let Papa come in here yet, yeah, darling. Where is everybody? I'm coming, Papa. Uh, Papa's lunch is standing, Rosalie, darling. I'll, I'll be right in. I wouldn't be long. No, not long. We won't be long. Uh, but don't, don't rush Not me, too Mrs. much, Mrs. darling. It's enough. All right, Ma. Fix Papa's lunch. Not too much, darling. It's enough for the clothes. Huh? Where's Ma? What is she doing? Bertie's fixing her hair. Uh, How long will you be? Not long, dear. What's all the beautifying about? What she's doing to Mama, Pa. What? Curling her hair and ma making her look like a, a... So why don't you stop her? I don't want to hurt Mama's feelings. Please don't say anything, Pa. What's the reason for it? What's the preparation, what? Don't say anything. She's so anxious to make an impression on Grace. With curls? Mm -hmm. Rosalie, darling, is Papa eating? Don't worry. Here, Pa, you can sit down. Alone, I can't eat. Alone, I can't eat, Molly. I'll be right in, Mr. Goldberg. Mm, that's all I need. Uh, Jane, darling, baby, call the station. For what? Uh, to see if the train is on time. It's too early for that, Molly. They won't know if the train is on time or not, Ma, until this afternoon. Rosalie, did you collect the eggs from the chicken coop? I will, Ma. Papa, darling, I, I hope everything's going to be all right. Why shouldn't it be? I just hope you like her. Is Miriam coming to the station to meet Grace? She can't make it, Ma. Why? She can't make it because she doesn't dismiss the children from the nursery school until after five. Uh, Rosalie, dear, fix Bertie a snick snack. I'll be right in. Now All just, right. Just leave everything exactly the way I fixed your hair, Mrs. Goldberg. Don't touch your hairpin. Oh, hello, Mr. Goldberg. How are you? Don't fix too much for me, Rosalie. Well, what would you like, Bertie? Your mother said you had something chopped. Just chopped onions, Spidey. Onions? Oh, no. Can I, can I look in the ice box, Rosalie? I wouldn't look in yours. What's that? Nothing, Bertie. Is the cold chicken for anybody? No. Thank you. Oh, just wait till you see your wife, Mr. Goldberg. She looks like a doll. To me, she always looks like a doll. If you change your dress, Mrs. Goldberg, be careful you don't spoil your hairdo. What did you make her? A page boy? No, I fixed her just like Rosie. Like Rosie's? With curls? Exactly. You wouldn't want your daughter-in-law to get the wrong impression, would what you? What do you mean? Mrs. Goldberg, if you're washing, be careful of your hair. Yeah, Rosalie! Yes, Ma? Can I see you a minute, Mom? Excuse me. What uh, is it, Ma? May I have a piece of bread, Mr. Goldberg? Help yourself. Thank you. No, Molly. How long must I wait to see how you look? You won't know her. She's taken off 20 years. Boy, they said you took off 20 years. What did you do with him? I restored her her youth, Mr. Goldberg. Through my artistry, I gave her back her lost years. Youth is just a question of appearance. Mm. I don't know. I don't know why it is. I, I like something hot with cold chicken. Uh, mm. uh, Doesn't Bernie. she look beautiful, Rosalie? You're going to be late for your other appointment, Bertie. Who said I have an appointment? Well, my mother said that No, you have... no. I have to meet Seymour. Seymour. He'll wait. Oh, hurry, Mrs. Goldberg. I want to see what you look like. You saw it, Bertie. Hurry, Molly. I want to see you. Rosalie. Yes? Bertie, come on, I'll I'll go out. Give Bertie a dozen eggs. Come, Bertie, I'll, I'll take... Bertie, eggs from my chickens make wonderful omelets. Mm, I love omelets, Mr. Come, Bertie. Oh, come. Well, wait a minute. I can't leave this last piece of chicken. Well, take it. One minute, one minute, one minute. Did you say I could have a dozen eggs, Mrs. Goldberg? Even two dozen. Mm. Bertie, come. When I create a hairdo, it takes so much out of me. You managed to put it back. What's that? Nothing, Bertie. You sent her to the chicken coop. Did Bertie go? Yes. No. Come on out. 
I want to see my Mary Pickford. Hello? What did you do? Where are your coils? I washed them out. Why? Because when I looked in the looking glass, I saw somebody else, not me, Jake. So why did you let her? I wanted to look beautiful for Samuel's wife. Not for me. Why, <laughs> Jake, I should only be as beautiful in her eyes as I am in yours. How do you know? I know. Poor Molly is rattling from pillar to post, trying to make herself into the perfect mother-in-law for the girl she feels sure will be a perfect daughter-in-law. Well, we hope Molly won't be disappointed. Well, look at that. There's Cousin Buzz with a big red ribbon around her finger. What's the idea? That's to remind me, to remind you, to remind the ladies about <laughs> Duz for dishes. Well, I was going to tell what a wonderful new kind of soap Duz is for everything in the wash. He has everything for dishes, too. Sure. Duz makes suds that stand up till the last dish is done. Cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to hands. Yet it's a blessing how does suds stand up to finish every greasy pan. Mm -hmm. No need to keep adding soap. No, oh, and does cuts grease in less than half a minute. Yet does leaves hands feeling wonderfully smooth and pretty. Sure, does is kinder to hands than the four other leading granulated soaps. Sure, just tell the ladies, don't wash dishes. Give them their daily dozen. Okay, Cousin Buzz. Ladies, for suds that stand up. Fast action on grease, yet greater kindness to hands, try does. It has everything for dishes. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. The Goldbergs get ready to leave for the station, and a queer word is dropped and not quite recovered. This is Clayton Collier wishing you good day for Procter & Gamble, makers of does, the new kind of granulated soap for all three kinds of wash.